Yo, what the fuck is up everybody? Me, Shoes here, back with another video, and today I got a review for y'all. I actually have a little pickup video as well, so why not knock them bounce out? This is gonna be my last video before I'm going off to Hawaii. Yes, I'm going off to Hawaii. I will bring my camera and I'm planning on doing a little vlog style pickup while I'm going to a sneaker consignment shop that's in Hawaii called I think it's called Truist Hawaii. Put the name up here and uh, I'll let you know that that's going to be an upcoming video, so definitely stay tuned. But for now, let's get to the pickups. Uh, today, in preparation, I went out was getting some shorts for the Hawaii trip that's coming up. I ended up getting some nice champion shorts, so on and so forth. I wasn't really too excited about those, but I was really excited about this pickup. Uh, so as you guys know, I live in the Pacific Northwest. Definitely rains a lot, almost I would say probably 90% of the time. So anyways, you know I got my jacket game on deck. And when it comes to this jacket, it was definitely a must cop for the um, fall winter time. I actually got plans for rocking this around Thanksgiving. And that's this one right here. It's a uh, Levi coated with this faux fur on the inside. Man, this thing will make you feel like you're a polar bear. It's got insulation inside of the sleeves, which is a very, very nice touch really gives it a premium feel um, thank god they actually had my size I was really really happy when I tried it on and it actually fits so definitely a nice pickup gives me the shiny vibes you know or um, that one episode of Atlanta if you know what episode I'm talking about or the super creepy one with Childish Gambino was the uh, the scary white guy <laughs> but anyways I love this pickup definitely gonna be rocking this and you'll see this in some feature um, you'll see this in some pictures in the future on IG for sure speaking of IG make sure to give me a follow that's at Meek Shoes I'll leave that up here as well it's gonna be super super simple to find me you'll find a lot of pickups custom all that type of stuff on there I actually was downtown because I had to pick up some paint supplies as well um, shout out to Oregon Leather Company and Blick Materials. Both y'all hold me down when it comes to the paint. But while I was over there, I took a little trip down to Index PDX and ended up seeing something I wanted. So I ended up copping it. Big shout out to Cam over there, Mikey T, all of you guys. Always hold me down when I shop by. So it was really, really dope to catch up with you guys. Um, I'll leave a link for the website down below so you can check out what type of shoes they have there. They're based in Portland, so you know they got tons of grails when it comes to Oregon PEs. So definitely check them out. Bam! Yeah, you see it is an old school LeBron box. We got that LB, that LeBron James logo with Lil King at the very bottom. This one actually came with the... Boy, if you don't get... With the handle. Hella, hella dope. And I was able to get this pair of dead stock. Size 9, as you can see, they hooked it up on the prior, so huge shout out to you, Cam. So without further ado, let's get into this. This is the Zoom 2. I wasn't really a big fan of the Zoom 1 when I was really, really young and in high, uh, excuse me, in elementary school. These actually dropped in 2000, I believe. So about 18 years ago. Um, and I ended up copping them for my fourth grade basketball shoe. And bam, here it is. As you can see, the details on the white pair were super, super crazy. There was also a black pair that came out for the low top. Um, yes, as you guys can see, this is the low top. I had the mid in the black, white, and red color with the huge Nike and the swoosh on it. That was really, really popping. Definitely like that. But this is the perfect summer shoe. All around perfect beater, actually, to me in general. My, my pops actually had these. Um, when he lived in Seattle and I remember just rocking them on the beach with him and it was the first shoe that we rocked together so um, definitely has a soft place in my heart but the Zoom Generations honestly were my favorite out of the entire bunch always came with crazy crazy detail the high top had that Nike printed on the inside similar to the um, Tinker 3's um, the detailing on the tongue as well the back you had the rope laces with the chrome accents and it said two on this one and it said three on uh, this lace lock over here. Overall, the detail on these guys are just super, super crazy. I'm really blessed to actually have these back in my collection. I don't know how long these will stay dead stock or if they will stay dead stock, but this is definitely a beautiful shoe and I'm so glad to have it in my possession. Same thing with the Forest Green 14s. It's more of a sentimental thing, so that's probably why these won't get worn as quickly, but if they do, you definitely will see some off-feet pictures, so make sure to go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. 
got another uh, I got another pickup video that is actually scheduled to drop while I'm in Hawaii just to give you guys some content because I will be there for a week so I want to give a huge shout out to everybody in the Mishu family thank y'all for following me and subscribing and staying here for this long we about to hit 10k and when that happens i'm dropping a jordan one collection video so definitely stay tuned um like i said i got another video dropping next week that's a pickup i'm actually on dead stocking these shoes in hawaii so i'm super excited you'll probably see pictures of them circulating on my ig pretty soon so if you want to figure out what the review is beforehand make sure to go give me a follow on instagram or on snapchat and we also had that pickup video happening for uh truest uh, Hawaii and Honolulu, so definitely stay tuned. Without further ado, Mishu's out. Squaw!